Yo, what's going on guys? It's WoodRxTV here, and today guys, as you guys can tell, I'm back here on Forza Horizon 4 once again, and I'm actually here in the festival playlist, just uh, here chilling, checking out the winter season here in Horizon 4, and um, if you guys did read the title correctly and the thumbnail correctly, you guys would know that uh, the winter season um more specifically the cars in the winter season is actually what's going to be revolving around today's video and it's actually what today's video is um here for so uh, yeah it is currently summer and it just started yesterday at the time of the recording of this video it, you know it's a pretty uh no it's, it's kind of down there on the list it's a pretty boring summer season like forza's just now started to do they put out some uh, pretty boring, uh, if I do say so myself, and, and quite a lot of other people. Uh, they're pretty boring summer seasons, but they do hype it up in winter and spring, so they do have some uh, pretty cool stuff being released in the winter and spring season. But in today's video, we are focusing on the winter season. Now, as you guys can see, if you're looking at, uh, well, just right here, or just anywhere, it says season active in 12 days, 17 hours, and 13 minutes. So, uh, yeah, basically 13 days or somewhere around that. And, uh, yeah, so you guys might be wondering, why are we focusing on this season? Well, because one of the main uh, Update 12 cars uh, that was just released yesterday is actually in the winter season, along with uh, a couple of other quite uh, cool, rare cars that you guys may be interested in. So I would recommend you guys do stick around to the end of the video if you guys do want to see the exact way to unlock a new exclusive update 12 car before it is officially released and um and just some other rare cars and uh including a couple from the either what, what was it? i think it was update 11 the one before this the previous one or update 10 uh you're looking at one right here for the 80 percent completion reward uh, it's actually the Maserati uh levante but uh, along with it, there's actually a couple of different rare cars, which you guys may have spotted out. There's three right here. These cars are very exclusive and very rare. Hard to find cars, as you guys can see, this one's just uh, it's more of a speedy car. If, if, you, if, with, if you're looking for a fast car with some good handling, and it is fairly rare. If you guys do wanna look it up on the auction house, you guys can find it a couple each hour, but you know, not that many. So it is a fairly rare car. These three right here are the main ones. Well, actually not the main ones, you guys will see why. And then over here we actually have as the simple trial reward, which could be hard for some, but pretty easy for others. It's kind of right in the middle there for me. Uh, it's it's a bit hard, it's just, just, just a little bit. It's actually the Volkswagen Golf 2010 model. So this is right here. And then, uh, yeah, not too many other stuff around here that's all that cool. But when we get into the 50% completion reward and the 80% completion reward, that might change your guys' mind. So, currently, I'm sitting in the 2019 Aston Martin DBS Super Ligera. And would you look at that? That is actually currently the 50% completion reward for the winter season. And that is actually coming in, let's just go with like two weeks around that. It's, a, it's coming for around like 13 days. You guys saw the time. So uh, yeah, um, we're gonna go over how you can lock each and every one of these cars. So including the AM, uh, the Aston Martin DBS uh, Super Guerra uh, 2019 model, and then along with the Maserati Levante, uh, the 2010 uh, Volkswagen Golf R, and the Porsche 914 slash six, uh, not six, six, and then the mini JCW buggy. This was actually featured in, I think, the update nine uh, festival playlist. So you guys may have seen this car along with the uh, Maserati Levante in a couple of different festival playlists. They were featured in a few. Um, and up here we have the Porsche 19, which I just went over and everything like that. So these are all the rare cars, and we're gonna go over the exact way to be able to unlock them all fairly simply and very quickly and just everything like that guys so i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to be able to unlock them uh there's a couple of different ways you can do to unlock some of these cars but for the update 12 cars there's actually only uh one way and i'm going to go ahead and share with you guys that one way and the quickest way to get it done and everything like that so the way to get this update 12 car is you have to uh, complete 50% of the winter season. So I'm going to go over how you can get to the winter season before it is actually just uh, here. Before it's here and we are able to get into it. Depends on when you guys are watching this video, but currently is the summer season. Um, 
But yeah, this will work in autumn, and yeah, so it'll just basically work in summer and autumn because you can't time travel to the winter season when you're already in the winter season. <laughs> but you can use some of the tips I'm going to give you guys and show you guys all you that you uh, all that you are going to want to complete to be able to unlock it and get to 50% the quickest way. There's quite a lot of different ways to um, get to 50%, uh, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest way and the quickest ways and basically just everything that I do to get to 50% every season. And uh, yeah, and then there's only one way to time travel to the winter season, and it will work on PC and Xbox. I'm on Xbox currently, as you guys can see, this is my main console, main thing I play on. So I'm going to show you guys um, on Xbox and explain to the very best of my abilities on how you do it on PC. I am informed on how you do it on PC. I do have it on my PC, but uh, I just don't make videos on it with my PC. But we're not talking about that in today's video, so... Uh, Yep, I'm going to explain to the best of my abilities on how you do it on PC and show in depth exactly how I do it on my Xbox here. Uh, so yeah, let's hop straight into it, guys. So when you are in the winter season and you want to go for the uh, 2019 Aston Martin DBS Super Guerra, uh, the 50% completion award, you're going to always, always going to want to start off by just completing the weekly Forza challenge. Now, it may say one challenge, um, just a singular challenge, but it's actually three quick little challenges. Uh, it says four down here, and, and then the whole name, it says that it's one challenge, but there's actually three, because the first one is just um, either buying or sniping a car, and then just uh, driving it for like a second. So all you have to do is just buy or snipe a car, depends on what car it says. In this case, it's actually the 1972 Land Rover Series 3, uh, so you just have to go ahead and... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just buy in the auto show, but for some cars, like once it was for a uh, spec 5, but this that's besides the point. So once for a spec 5, you'd have to snipe it. So some are rare, some are just normal auto show cars. So in this case, this is a normal auto show car, so not very much a challenge. And usually I make the cars cheap or fairly easy to snipe if they are a rare car. So, um, yep, yeah, you're just going to go ahead and uh, drive this around for just a minute. You will have that out of the way. It's pretty fairly uh easy and quick and easy uh quick and easy oh, okay you guys know what i mean it's, it's pretty quick so that's that and then you know uh the rest it really just varies i mean for some like this one it's earned 20 wreckage skills and others could be a uh, complete drift zone with this many uh points or short really stuff like that get this many points on a uh on a on danger sign or stuff like that so it's really just that or get the speed on a race it's or just winning a cross-country event on that race. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of it. So I cannot talk today, guys. Oh yeah, that's available because we're not in the season quite yet, guys. So you're always going to do the weekly four sun challenge. Sorry, I keep stumbling over my words, guys. I can't really talk all that easily. But yeah, so over here, the next one, you're going to, you're always going to want to complete. So the two first things to get to 50%, the easiest and the quickest. You're always going to want to complete the weekly Forza challenge, or just anything Forza Thon. There's only two things uh, that, re to, that relate to the Forza Thon. So the weekly Forza Thon challenges, and then the daily Forza Thon challenges. Now, very few amount of people know this, but the daily Forza Thon challenges actually get you just a couple of percentage closer to uh, being able to hit that 50% completion mark which really does help you out in the long run, guys. So yeah, some people just look over this and they don't even really know that, but this could save you from completing uh, some things that may be hard for you, like the possibly the showcase remix or the trial. Uh, those are the two things that a lot of people get uh, the, uh, stumbled on and stuff like that, and they don't really know how to do it all that well, along with sometimes the seasonal playground games. But, um, you know, for some people, it, it could really just be anything, but the uh, daily force on challenges really could help you out with um, just being able to skip over some little thing like the showcase remix, or, uh, seasonal playground games, or the trial. Uh, possibly the three hardest things depends on what car you use, what tune you use, and how you overall play the game and race and everything like that. Um, but yeah, that's that. So you guys can look over your daily force on challenges. They're pretty straightforward. Pretty much the easiest things you can get done. Like. 
earn three awesome drafting skills. Everyone will have different ones at different times, so I just recommend you uh, complete all the ones that are possible and all the ones that you can do because you get new daily ones every single day, obviously. So it says filter through traffic to earn three thrain the needle skills, earn four stars in total drift zones, uh, earn three awesome drafting skills, and just stuff like that. Earn one awesome skill chain, three ultimate clean racing uh, skills, and you guys get the point. So they'll all be different. There, uh, some can be the same. Um, that's basically it. Uh, the two easiest things to complete on this list are these two things right here, and those are the two easiest and quickest things you could just blow through, and then boom, you're already. I mean, I don't want to give it an exact number because I'm not 100% sure what it would be, but it'd be a pretty high number. I'd say about 20%, maybe 20-something percent, like 25%, maybe 24%, but don't take my word on that, guys. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really pay attention. I just like to blow through and get it done as fast as I can. So I always complete these two things uh, first, and that's what I highly recommend you guys do as well. So complete these two things. You'll be a good percentage up there. Uh, not not quite sure if it's 20 or 25, but I know it's probably around that number, somewhere around that. Now you're always gonna leave the trial for last. You never wanna do it in order. And the next thing I recommend you guys do after completing your forest on events is next, doing your PR stunts. PR stunts include of um, danger signs, drift zones, uh, speed traps and speed zones, so it could really just be anything, but you'll definitely have three of them out of the four. Wait, was that four? Yeah, it's about four. So this could be a speed trap, this can be a speed zone, this could be a uh, danger sign, or this one could be a uh, speed trap, or this one could be a drift zone, you never know. Um, but yeah, they're all fairly quick and easy to complete, so you guys will definitely get that. And then seasonal events, uh, there's always, uh, they always go by rank, like skills. It's, it's kind of weird, but some are harder, some are easier. So if, let's say, one of these are your hardships, then I recommend you always do the playground games and leave one seasonal event. This one's always going to be the hardest, this one's always going to be the easiest, and this one's always going to be the medium one. So you can always do, like, easiest, medium, and maybe leave your hard one. I'm not 100% sure, but I always just like to blow through all of these and basically just do this entire list right here. So um, the way you can get it done the quickest is by doing four stunt stuff so daily and weekly all pr stunts all seasonal events and then you can figure out if you want to do the playground games or the showcase remix or possibly the trial and not the showcase remix or the trial and not the playground games so you, you have a lot of options when it comes to this um and the thing saving you from uh having to either do like both of these and maybe leave this one or no, no, maybe leave this one do these two and everything else and maybe leave the trial is with um so it's really just saving you from doing a couple of things and that's the daily force on challenges uh those are very helpful guys so keep that in mind for every season that you're trying to do this so that's basically it. And then uh, by completing really just everything and leaving a couple of things, like you can leave the trial and the showcase remix easily by just completing everything except for, let's say one of these, but everything else or one of these and leaving one of those or leaving a playground games. So it's really up to you guys, which ones you wanna do, which ones are your hardships. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you have to do to get through it. And then you'll be at 50%, maybe even more. Uh, you'll be at about 46% and the thing helping you out is actually your, uh, okay, so by completing uh, your force on, your weekly force on challenge and everything on this list, including the showcase remix, except for the trial. So just this, 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 and this you'll be at about 46 percent i've learned this guys i've paid attention to what i'm doing and going step by step and then i've noticed if i just go ahead and uh complete the uh daily force on challenges i'll be at like 52 percent or something like that and it's just really easy and you can leave some stuff and uh yeah so that's basically it guys so now onto the time traveling part the thing you guys have been waiting for so sorry for the wait guys just trying to explain everything so that's how you get to 50%. So now on Xbox, what what you oh sorry, what you're gonna want to do is uh, hit your Xbox pause menu, scroll over to settings, hit settings, 
um, go up into personalization. So it'll be account, personalization, networks, all that stuff. So go into account, not account. So go into personalization, just go into my home Xbox, select that, and hit make this my home Xbox. Every few days, it may refresh and like, uh, uh, uh what does it do? It just stops making your Xbox your home Xbox. Now, all this really does is, um, I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be for you guys, so uh, you guys can look it up. Uh, it really just doesn't. Uh, it really just lets you play games when you're offline, and in order to time travel, you have to be offline. So I'm just gonna give you guys that description of it. It does like. It really just helps you out. So I recommend you make your own Xbox in general anyway. But that's that. So once you've made it your home Xbox, that is step one. So this is just getting into time traveling, guys. And then make sure to stick around till the end. I'm going to go ahead and explain at one point on how you do it on PC, guys. So make it your own Xbox. This is how you do it on Xbox. Scroll on to network. Go to network settings. And um, if you're on wired or wireless, it doesn't really matter. Because on wired or wireless, we will both have go offline. So I am on wired connection right now, but I've done this plenty of times on wireless connection since I just started being on wired connection. But all you're gonna wanna do is just select go offline. That's pretty much it, just, just go offline, and then that's all. Then next, you're gonna wanna go ahead, scroll over here. So hit your plus menu again, scroll over to system and where you can find settings, and scroll down to restart console. Hit that and just restart your Xbox. That's pretty much it. Now this is what, now I'm gonna show you guys why you're gonna wanna do that. So once you've made your home Xbox and you've gone offline, scroll down to system, go to time, and you'll find that your time zone and automatically adjust for daylight saving uh, is the only thing selectable. The only thing is selectable are these two things. But over to the right is your time and date. Now all you have to do to basically make it selectable is once you've made your Xbox your own Xbox and you've gone offline, then all you have to do is just restart your Xbox, load back up, time and date will be selectable. It's kind of just pretty much tricking your Xbox into having you be able to change your time and date. Then from there, all you have to do is just change your date to however many days in the future you need to. Depends on when you're watching this video. If you're watching this video the day it comes out, make sure to change your date 13 days in the future. So the way you do it on PC, guys, so it's way more easy, way quicker. So, um, yeah. So you're going to want to go ahead and enter your settings. Go into your, um, your language, time, and date settings. And uh, just right there, it'll say a little uh, check mark and a box and it'll say uh, set time automatically and then you're gonna want to make you're just gonna click it again so the check mark is no longer there and then basically change date will no longer be grayed out and then all you have to do is just simply change your date to however many days in the future um, which in this case if you're watching the, this video day it came out 13 days in the future then you'll be good to go and um, yeah that's pretty much it your piece will just restart you just load back up, load up Forza, do all your challenges, get 50%, same thing here on Xbox. And then uh, you should have the car in your garage. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.